Interested in taking your brewing to the next level? Take a deep dive into water chemistry with Brewer's Friend. If you're new to brewing, check out the Brewing Water for Beginners page to learn about brewing salts and what they do. Otherwise, let's get started. Adjusting your water profile can impact many things in your homebrew, from improved flavor, mouthfeel, brewing efficiency, pH, and more. Adding brewing salts to your recipe is often the difference between a good beer and a great beer. Not only does Brewer's Friend make it easy to create, edit, and share your recipe, it can also help build a water profile to mimic water found all over the world. Whether brewing an Irish stout or Czech pilsner, dial in your water profile for every recipe with ease. Before we get started, let's review what minerals we are using and how they impact our water profile. This is calcium, magnesium, sodium, chloride, sulfate, and bicarbonate. As we add different minerals, these levels will adjust accordingly. Based on Brewer's Friend recipe trends, gypsum is the most used mineral followed by calcium chloride and epsom salt. Lactic acid is also a very popular addition used for pH adjustment. To begin building a water profile, first consider the water source you're starting with. Water sources may vary, but often brewers are working with three types, distilled water, reverse osmosis or RO water, and city water or tap water. Distilled water is water that has had all minerals removed through the distillation process. When building a water profile from distilled water or RO water from a trusted vendor, your source water profile will start with all zeros. When using tap or city water, you'll need to obtain a water profile so you know the total amount of dissolved minerals present in your source water. This can be found through your local water company, homebrew club, or browse user uploaded water profiles on Brewer's Friend under Tools and Water Profiles. Next, you'll need to determine your target water profile based on what style beer you are brewing. You can enter your own custom water profile or search Brewer's Friend Catalog to take full control. To add a custom source water profile, load your user profile, then click Add New Water Profile. Or after your recipe is built, click the green link button in the Water Chemistry section to open the Mash Chemistry and Brewing Water Calculator. This will load the data from your recipe into the water calculator. Review the water volumes and grist to make sure that all the data transferred properly. If you didn't create a custom profile in your user profile, enter the values for your source water profile. Again, if using distilled or RO water, these values would be zero. If using tap or city water, get a water profile from your municipality, local homebrew club, or lab that will review your water and provide you with a water report specific to brewing. If you already have a profile set up, choose one of your water profiles and the values will autofill. Once your source water profile is complete, Start entering the values for your target water profile. You can choose from a pre-made water profile or enter your own custom target profile. Next, start entering your salt additions and check the Add in Mash button to indicate that they are all added into the mash. Leave unchecked if adding to both mash and sparge water or the kettle. As you adjust how much of each brewing salt is added, you'll notice the overall water report changes with each addition. Continue adding and removing brewing salts until you get to the point where their overall water report is close to your target water profile. There's even a range checker to show if you are above, below, or within range of your target water profile. Keep in mind that while salts are important, the most critical part of this calculator is the projected mash pH. Make hitting your target pH a priority versus hitting specific mineral values. Adjust your mineral and acid additions until the water profile has hit your desired pH. Once you've added the appropriate salts and acids to hit your desired water profile, click the Save Update button at the top of the screen. Go back to the Edit Recipe screen and click the Update Recipe button in the Water Chemistry section. You'll notice all brewing salts and acids that you added in the Mash Chemistry and Brewing Water Calculator page have been added to your recipe under the Other Ingredients section. Save your recipe and you are now ready for brew day.